Hey YouTube friends, have you been thinking that strengthening your quad muscles, the muscles in the front of your thigh, is the best thing to do for your knee problem? Whether you've got knee arthritis, a chondromalacia problem, patellochondromalacia, a meniscus problem, or other cartilage problem in your knee, well nine times out of 10, strengthening your quad muscles, the muscles on the front of the thigh, is a bad idea. It's actually gonna make these issues worse in your knee. And I know you might have been told by a physician, another physical therapist, a trainer, some sort of healthcare expert that strengthening your quads is what is necessary to get rid of your knee problem. And you know, intuitively, at first glance, it makes sense that if you got knee pain, maybe your thigh muscles are weak and you should strengthen those to make the knee pain better. But it is wrong, it is as far wrong as you can get actually. And I'm gonna to explain to you why on this video today. Real quick, in case you don't know me, my name is Dr. David Minoff. I'm a specialist physical therapist over at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy. And I love talking about helping people with knee problems. We help people with knee problems all the time here in the clinic. Uh, in fact, we've got an online do-it-yourself program for people suffering from knee problems. It's called the 28 Day Knee Health and Wellness Boost Program. Go to the description below so you can get the link to learn more about it. It's a program that's 100% online, on demand. You, you do it when you wanna do it, and it actually fixes your knee problems through specific exercises and coaching, which we go into detail here um, on this program. But aside from the program, let me tell you why strengthening your quads is a bad idea if you've got a knee problem. Number one, forces on the knee increase way more whenever you strengthen your quads. It is just too much force for the, for the knee. You put yourself into a muscle imbalance by strengthening your quads. Nine times out of 10, whenever we see people here with knee problems, they've already got a massive muscle imbalance where their quads are very dominant. They're, they're too strong and other muscles that are supposed to be about the same strength relatively are not as strong as they should be. So if the quad muscles, the ones on the front of the thigh, are too strong, it puts the kneecap at an increased pressure against the thigh bone, it pulls the tendons above and below the kneecap, and it also compresses the knee joint from within, it pulls the, the shin bone up against the thigh bone too much and can compress the meniscus. So this isn't a good situation for the knee. You actually don't want overactive, very, very, very strong quads. The only situation you should have very strong quads in is if your other muscles are just as strong so that you're in a balance, not out of balance with your quad muscles being too strong. The second reason that you should not strengthen your quads is that you often will get a false sense of accomplishment. What I mean by this is let's say you've been told by a trainer or somebody, a physical therapist, to go strengthen your quads, or maybe they're having you do the, this exercise and you're in training or in therapy right now, and you get this sense of like, wow, my quads feel so worked out. I'm, I'm doing knee extensions, for example, or some sort, some sort of a squat or lunge, and the quad muscles feel like they have a big pump, like they're filled up with blood, like they get tight and stiff because you just worked them out, and there's a sense of accomplishment, like, I worked out my quads, I'm, I'm doing something good. And it might release some endorphins, it might make you feel really good uh, as far as you know your body, and it can actually help out your knee pain momentarily, but in the long term, you're strengthening the quad muscles and feeding into that balance. So we have tons of people in here that are shocked to learn whenever we evaluate them and, and look at their knee and find out that they have a big muscle imbalance, that they've been working out incorrectly for years, decades even, where they've been strengthening their quads thinking it's a good thing and having that sense of accomplishment that they, they're doing something good for their legs, for their knees, but really it's just feeding into the problem and that's not something that you need to be doing for your knee problem. So if you're working on your quad muscles right now, stop right away. If you're going to physical therapy or working with a trainer, share this video with them so that you might begin to understand what's going on. And you know what, if, if you just aren't in that kind of relationship with the therapist or the trainer, um, you are your own best advocate. You've got to figure out what to do for yourself. You know, there's healthcare professionals out there that make recommendations all the time that inadvertently hurt people. I don't think they're doing it maliciously. They're not trying to hurt you. They're really helping you the best they can with what they know, but it's not always the best thing for you. So if you, in your heart, if you know that this just isn't a good thing for you, you're doing the exercise and it doesn't feel good for you, or you know, you're taking that medication and it's not really helping you out, it's making you feel worse in fact, 
you need to speak up and say something or change change healthcare professionals or do, do take the proper steps for yourself because you can't count on the healthcare professional to always know 100% that it, it is working for you. I, I would talk to the healthcare professional first. That's the number one thing you should absolutely do before you go change healthcare professionals. But talking to them didn't work out, well, take the appropriate steps. Um, but you know, we have patients that come in here all the time and they're like, my trainer's making me do quad sets or, or quad knee extension exercises and I feel a burn. But later on after my workout, my knees are just killing me and I, I hobble around, I can't walk. Well, that is not a good thing for you. You gotta stop doing that, and you just gotta tell the trainer, "I'm not doing it. I'll find something else for me to do. Work out, work out my my calf or my hamstring or my butt muscles, or let's do upper body. Let's do something else." The third reason why quad strengthening is a bad idea, it kind of just follows this this line of thought. If you've already got a muscle imbalance, and then on top of that, you're going to go work out, and you got that false sense of accomplishment because you've been working out your quads. Well, whenever you do your everyday motions, walking getting in and out of the car, getting, getting up out of bed, just doing things around the house, doing chores, you're using those quads way too much because they've become the dominant muscle in your leg likely. And if you're doing that little by little, just a, a tiny bit at a time, every step you take, every movement you make, you are worsening your knee problem because you're already dominant with the quads, so you're irritating the cartilage, you're push, pulling on the tendons too much on the, on the ligaments, you're compressing the joint, you're feeding into that arthritis problem. You have got to figure out how to not use your quads primarily. I mean, when you walk, you should not feel your quads get tired. If you're a runner, if you like to go run, you, you might feel your quads get tired, but not as much as other muscles. You should feel your, your hamstrings, your glutes for sure should be getting tired. If you're going to the gym for leg day, I would not make it a goal to make your quad muscles the most tired leaving the gym. You should walk out feeling like your butt muscles are tired, hamstring, calves, a little bit of everything. Quads should be just a little bit of everything, not the main thing walking out of the gym. If you are exercising this way where your quads are getting consistently tired or you're doing yard work and your quads are getting consistently tired, then you are in a muscle imbalance very likely and you're making your knee problem worse and worse with everyday motions and you've got to figure out a way to get out of that routine so that you can figure out how to get your leg muscles in balance. Quick plug real quick, that 28 day program that I was talking about, it talks exactly about this. So if you're interested in fixing that problem on, at home on your own, check out that 28 day knee health and wellness boost program. Look at the, the link in the description here. But what you've got to begin to do with your everyday motions is to just use glute muscles, use your other muscles, foot muscles as well. We talk about that in the 28 day program. You've got to begin to spread out the force and be in a muscle balance, not out of balance so that you can help out your knee problem for the long term. It is possible to flare down that arthritis, to flare down the meniscus irritation, to allow your tendons to be normalized, and to take off the pressure from your cartilage so that you can have healthy knees. Even if you've got signs of arthritis on an x-ray, that doesn't mean that you're gonna have an ear replacement later on or that you have to have a surgery if you've got a meniscus tear. It is possible to flare it down where it doesn't hurt and you can do just about everything you wanna do. But please, end the quad strengthening. You're gonna use your quads inadvertently. Let me talk, talk on this point real quick because I'll go to the extreme with patients, obviously. I'll tell them, stop quad strengthening 100%. And then they'll say, well, shouldn't I be strengthening my quads at least a little bit? And I'll say to this, you're gonna strengthen them inadvertently doing other exercises. You just don't wanna make it the primary muscle that you work out whenever you're doing any sort of exercise, whether it's cardio or strengthening exercises or housework, you know, yard work, um, indoor work, outdoor work, you're, you're inadvertently squatting, kneeling, walking, carrying things, and you wanna be doing it in such a way that spreads the use of muscles to your entire legs, not just your quads. But if you're using your legs, you're gonna be using your quads to some degree. It's just that the quads should be kind of a secondary muscle that you're using, a secondary muscle group, not the primary muscle group. Whenever you're talking about walking forward or doing a squat type motion or running forward, glutes should actually be the main driver in those motions. So if anything, you should feel like your glutes are getting the majority of the workout, that's okay. But if your quads are getting it all, not good. You gotta stop that. It's making your knee problem worse. So guys, if this video was helpful for you, if you know somebody that is potentially working out their quads way too much, you see it all the time. Oh, the classic picture, I, I see people 
uh, post selfies of themselves at the gym pulling up their shorts or looking at their quads and they're flexing their quads and, and it's fine. You know, I, I hope that they're working out their other muscle groups, but they're talking about how pumped and how big their quads feel. That's great aesthetically, you know, it looks nice. Um, but functionally, as far as muscle balance and forces on joints for your health, not good. You got to be in a good muscle balance. So if you know somebody that's doing that, please send them this video, share with them what, what I just taught here so that they might begin to work out properly and avoid some knee problem, avoid some surgery later in life, um, avoid taking medications and having injections, of course, as well. And um, that way they can get help. And if, if you want to learn more about that 20 day program, please find the link in the description down there. Hit the like button if you like this video and please hit subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release helpful new videos for your health. Have a wonderful day, friends. Bye-bye.